Steve Vignani here at High Octane Classics in Auburn, Massachusetts with a really cool 1972 Dodge Demon. A supercharged 6.2 liters, again, 707 horsepower. Are you confused? Well, you gotta remember that the Challenger Demon, the most recent one with 808 horsepower or 840 with the button, is a Challenger and it's the second go round for the Demon nameplate. The first go round came in 1971 and 72 in the Dodge version of the Plymouth Fastback Duster. Now these again were made for 71 and 72 and apparently pressure from religious groups didn't like the satanic connotations of the demon name. Dodge buckled and in 1973 the demon became the Dart Sport, the little fastback two-door. But this is a 1972 demon with the heart of a demon. Before we open the hood and really get a 707 horsepower surprise, let's first look at the fact that this is an original bright red paint car. This is the original red paint. Uh, the wheels on this are Kregers. They're 15 inch Kregers and those are modern reproduction wheels, but uh, it still has the small bolt pattern. Pretty cool. Now the hood on this, of course, has the Demon Spec snorkel type hood scoop, which was seen on Demon 340s. Um, but that was then. Let us now open the hood and see what's going on here. This is a pretty incredible piece. And there it is, the heart of a Hellcat or, or a demon. This is actually a 707 horsepower, 6.2 liter SRT Hellcat engines. Very, very similar, about 90% the same as a demon. Uh, supercharged, 6.2 liters, again, 707 horsepower. So spiritually, this is uh, no pun intended, this is the heart of a demon in this demon. Now the beauty here is that it's been installed using all of the proper computer equipment and uh, you know the aftermarket has really risen to the cause. Uh, fast fuel injection and speed hut manufacturer sub-assemblies that allow these modern supercharged Gen 3 Hemis to be plugged into old Mopars like this one. And so basically you have the best of both worlds. But the paint under the engine bay here, a lot of it is the original bright red. And how do we know it's really a bright red car? We look here, FE5 on the trim tag, right down here, FE5 bright red. And beyond that, E24 slant six, automatic and LL23C2B, which of course means uh, Dart Sport, slant six, two 1972, built, built at Hamtramck, Michigan. So again, it's a true demon, then with a true demon type engine from now. Now, something that's important to point out is the torsion bar front suspension on this, those longitudinal bars going onto the floor toward the, under, the lower control arms, replaced with coilovers up front because this thing is a massive set of headers and a whole lot of stuff going on underneath. But the beauty is it looks so stock, but this thing has 707 horse. In other words, twice the power of a 340 that would have been the top engine in 1971, 72 when these things were new. So it's crazy. Uh, we have some Willward disc brakes up front. And again, the wheels, these are 15 inch small bolt Kreger SS. Again, the small bolt means this is five on four inch circle, but there's that Willwood disc brake behind it. So the modern braking with the vintage look. And of course here on the front fender, here's the Demon logo that's been sprayed on or actually brushed on very artistically below the Demon and Demon Cat. Hellcat Demon Cat, get it? Very, very cool. But again, this is a largely an original paint car. Um, I look for signs of overspray and I don't see anything. So I think what happened was somebody found a really clean Demon Slant 6 Grandma Mobile and gave it a, a makeover. Now let's look inside. And there's the front bench seat. And uh, this would have been a column shifted automatic, but it's been converted to a floor shifter with a TCI. And there's something equally surprising under the floorboards, a GM 4L80 four-speed automatic with an adapter that allows the GM transmission to match the Chrysler engine. So uh, really just innovative stuff here going on. And, and the beauty of that 4L80 is that it is as strong an automatic transmission as uh, really anything that's been available. It'll totally handle this, uh, this Demon engine and it has overdrive in fourth gear. So you can hit the highway in this thing and cruise along at uh, 1800 RPMs going 80 miles an hour and then kick it down and you know who knows what the speed limit is on this thing. It's up to you to control yourself. 
But here in the back, we have, uh, again, these are 15 by seven or so, Kreger SS small bolt wheels. How cool is that? With drums in the back. And again, the discs up front are what you really want. Uh, Superstock leaf springs on this one does have frame connectors and electronic exhaust cutouts. I'm not sure if we can get the camera down there, but on the side of this puppy down low, we'll see there are some electronic valves that allow the, uh, the exhaust to really just go crazy at the flip of a switch. And uh, just good stuff. And the frame connectors are here underneath, which help the unit construction body to, well, resist some of the twisting forces that it might encounter with 707 horsepower and 650 foot-pounds of torque. Now here at the back, it sits nice and tall against super stock leaf springs in the back, uh, which are Chrysler goodies and they work really well. And it has, of course, a set of DOT drag slicks on the back. These are radials. And here's the Demon logo at the back with a little uh, add-on demon cat graphic and again that's painted on very very artfully done uh, the dual exhaust on this of course uh, very much uh, necessary and there's the eight and three quarter at the back that's a tough axle by the way and that totally is, is going to handle this automatic equipped hemi a stick shift well you might want a dana but with that said uh, this combination has been sorted and driven for for many miles and uh, it's proven to be happy and, and ready to go uh, with a new owner let's look inside the trunk and see what we find here and here we have, yeah, original red paint all inside of here. And so again, I think this is an original low mile Survivor Slant 6 car, apparently sold new at Loon Motors in Mitchell, South Dakota. I would dare say that's probably the case. Here's a sticker here that appears to have been, and this original paint right here is in fantastic condition. In fact, the quarter panels on this are also beautiful. Uh, the floor in the side of the trunk, let's have a peek at that, and the original trunk mat here in place. Let's peel it back and have a look. And yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's been touched up around here. Maybe there's might be some surface, who knows what, but this is probably the original Goodyear power cushion spare tire. It doesn't have any air in it, but the little, uh, the nubs on it are here. That's probably the original spare tire to this car. So it's kind of cool. Somebody took a, a, a Survivor Slant 6 72 Demon and gave it the heart of a Hellcat. Pretty cool piece. And keep in mind, this supercharged 707 horsepower Demon can be purchased with as little as 10% down. And High Octane Classics will deliver this to any place in the country or the world you choose. And of course, they do accept trades. So if you have something you think might be a, a, you know, a good deal toward the purchase of this vehicle, well, they'll consider that too. Bikes, customs, hot rods, daily drivers, it's all quite possible. And keep in mind too that High Octane Classics has been in business for like 15 years and they're always looking for new employees for service and sales. So if you think you might want to have a change of pace and do something you really love every day, well, you might want to give them a call at 508-859-4515. And High Action Classics is also looking to buy vehicles, one or 20 collections you choose. If you have them, they'll be happy to talk to you about maybe buying your cars. But that's the story of this 1972 Demon with the true heart of a Demon, a Hellcat 707 horsepower supercharged engine, four-speed automatic with overdrive, eight and three quarter super stock springs it looks like an old 340 car but it has twice the horsepower you got to check it out at the high octane classics website